Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Dion. If you're new, today I'm going to review MAC Art Library series palette, and this one is called It's Designer. And it did give me a bit of trouble. Um, if you guys would like to see my thoughts, then keep watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So, today we're going to use one of the MAC Art Library um, eyeshadow palettes. And this one is the one that's called It's Designer. So this one is like really cool, really colorful, and really fun. The front, you just kind of see like a nice little rainbow that's in like paint. On the back, you have the shade name. The only thing I will say is I will always be annoyed with palettes that don't have um, the names displayed within inside of the palette. Because it's just a really like... A, a big of a hassle for me to like look down and have to keep switching my palette back and forth. It comes with a huge mirror. So this is what the mirror looks like. It's pretty big. So that's really great. The mirror is really clear. Um, it pretty much shows my entire face. So that's really, really great. So inside of the palette we have five mattes, six foil shadows, and one shimmer. So first I'm going to take this P. Louise Makeup Base in the shade Rumor 2. So the first shade we're going to take is this bright yellow right here. So immediately like I'm noticing that the pigment is not as great. It is showing up but it's coming on just a tad bit like weird like and then as i'm using it i am getting a bit of fallout around the eyeshadow so as i build it up it's kind of like coming together you can really see it um i'm just a little scared about how the other shades are going to look on top of it honestly so first i'm going to dip it into this orange shade so that orange is really pigmented um, it kind of is hard to blur the lines between the yellow and the orange. I think I'm going to go with like a spring look because that's kind of what this palette is giving me. Y'all can't probably can't see on camera but it is a little patchy. The color with the yellow and the orange, it isn't as smooth. I'm just going to dip it into the pink right here. can see but it's blending pretty pretty patchy instead of like buttery really chalky looking and the color combo is beautiful that I am not going to complain about because the colors that they have in here are really really perfect for that spring fun flirty kind of look but as of right now it's not giving me the life that I need at all type of brush and I'm gonna dip it into this purple to see how the purple works on top of the pink this is actually really pretty this purple is a is definitely a bit more buttery and just gliding on the eye and it's not really sticking too much to wherever I put it. It's kind of like, it's kind of blotchy. I don't know if y'all can see what I mean, but it's definitely not giving me James Charles, Unleash Your Inner Artist type of quality. It's giving me, I don't even want to shade any brands because this is not the type of video. But it's just not, this is not it. And... There's literally pink, purple, and orange blended in with each other right now. And I've never had this problem with any other eyeshadow when it comes to like layering and trying to blend it out. So I don't know if this is a MAC thing or a me thing. This yellow, I put it on and it's like it is, it's not really there or helping me blend. But I'm going to I'm gonna try to have faith. So I guess we're going to move on to cut the crease. And to cut my crease today, I'm just going to use this 
concealer brush and the P. Louise base. Okay, so that is all the cutting of the crease that I'm going to do. So now I'm going to go back in with the brush that we used to blend out that, um, that purple and the fluffier brush. And I'm just going to tap that in. Yeah, see, even on top of the P. Louise base that I just put down, the purple is still not pigmented and it looks a little gray. I'm going to swatch it really quick just so we can see the difference between it. So this is how the purple looks on my finger. And then this is how the purple looks on my lid. I don't really see the same type of pigment at all. Okay y'all, so I'm honestly hoping and praying that the... Um, the pigments do a lot better than the actual shadows because right now I'm really, really disappointed and just annoyed because this eyeshadow palette was a pretty penny. It was not $20 and that's the type of quality that it's giving me right now. Even some $20 eyeshadow palettes don't look as bad as this one is looking right now. So I'm just not impressed right now. Let's see what the pigments do. dip this brush right up into this really gold foily um, shade right here okay so already I'm annoyed I'm getting so much product falling onto the damn pan the foil shadow is actually looking not too bad on me it is creasing a quite a bit do you see those creases right there. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of color in between the purple and this gold just to kind of like not have it as harsh and y'all I'm gonna be honest this palette is shit. It is complete and utter shit. Normally when I put shadows on top of my pigments they don't look so raggedy and this it just looks raggedy like i can't even find a nice way to say it it just looks raggedy on camera it might not look that bad but in person it just looks patchy and like i didn't really try now i'm not even gonna lie it doesn't look that bad like it's not like terrible terrible but we see here there's a patch, like a bit of a patchy um, this going on here. And I put the product there, like, let's see. Let's do a little test. I put the product there. But as soon as I try to blend it, after I put it there, it just doesn't take heed. And then it just washes out every other color I put on top. Like, you can't even see that I put any pink on because the pink just kind of just faded right in. Now you can see the, the um, orange and you can see the yellow a little bit, but it isn't, the yellow isn't enough, pigmented enough to blend out this orange because this orange is pretty harsh. So I don't know what they did in the lab and I know yellow shades are hard to make, but when you make a palette that is $50, I'm going to expect it to perform at a certain level. Uh, and I'm sorry, especially since you only get 12 shades for 30, 36, 46 dollars i got that james charles palette there were like what 30 shades 20 shades i don't know and it performs beautifully and it blends beautifully i'm gonna use this mario badescu um rose water spray and this is just gonna help to keep my skin moisturized and it actually gets a little tacky you use it so it's kind of good as a primer not bad so the foundation i'm gonna use today is the fenty beauty 
Pro Filter Foundation. Now this shade is darker than my skin tone, but I have a really, really light conce concealer by Fenty that will kind of even this out. So now I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. It's in the shade 390, I believe. Oh, 370, actually. So to set my face, I'm going to use this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And this is an oldie, um, but I still love it. It's still my favorite. I'm going to use this, this Black Radius True Complexion Contour Palette. And I just dip it in both of the shades. And it gives me that color that I like. I'm going to take this MAC Studio Fix powder and this is the NW44 powder. I'm going to use this highlighter that is also from um, Lancome Cosmetics. Put this on the areas of my face that I want to be really highlighted and pretty. Hey guys, so this is the final look because these shadows are not giving me the same life that they are giving me just sitting in the pan. They are a lot more vibrant in the pan when you look at them, but as soon as you put them on, and I use the P. Louise base, and honestly, if I use the P. Louise base with something and it doesn't work, I'm automatically judging it. I don't know if that's just me, but personally, the P. Louise base is a really, really good base, and... I don't know y'all I don't know I will try it with regular concealer next time to maybe see if it was the concealer that was you know that did it but as far as this goes it's not working out for me I just hold this to a higher standard because it's Mac honestly and Mac is a veteran and also because the price point um yes and no um comparison to the James Charles palette it is a little off the pigments are not very great it does have like a lot of fallout um, onto the pan and everything. If you're picky, like me, this won't be the best palette for you. If you're just someone who just loves color and loves trying different things and you aren't too picky about the quality, then you won't mind this palette. This palette is actually a pretty palette. 2 out of 5. 2.9 out of 5 if I'm being picky. And if I'm being nice, I'm going to give it a 3. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.